David Scott Trek. It is a 16 km trek along the stretches of Sirapunji to Bangladesh. The trek is at an altitude of 4,800 feet. It is of 16 km and it will take around 4 to 5 hours. The trek usually starts from the Maflong and ends at the Lad Maflong village. But uh, we started it from Lad Maflong and ended it at Maflong. After a few hundred meters, you come across some beautiful standing mountains. Almost till this stretch, it is almost descending and after you cross the bridge, you have to start climbing up a hill. This is the first pit stop where you can rest for a while and you have to cross this bridge where you will be coming across a boat called Mav Step. So you just cross this bridge, you will be seeing a mud road passing between the two mountains. So keep walking through that. So there are villagers who will be grazing their cattle. So you can inquire about the trek details, whether you are passing in the right path. You will be passing along the stream en route to the truck and you will be causing the stream here and there. So this is the bridge where you can say you have almost crossed one fourth of the truck. So almost four kilometer of the truck is done. Once you cross this bridge you have to walk another 12 kilometers. It has some beautiful lawns where you can rest then and there. There will be many streams which you will be crossing. It's almost crystal clear. The waters are very crystal clear. There are a very few muddy stretches, maybe one or two muddy stretches are there. So it will be a hard task if you try to move it in a rainy season. There is no need to carry much of water, you taking water from steam is really good. This is the village which we came across after almost 6 kilometers. We did not come across any shops in the village. So it is better to carry your snacks and water bottles with you. There are numerous number of small streams passing through that. We took a small shortcut where this uh, route directly descends towards the Umuyam river. So after you cross this small muddy patch, there are this much of bushes on either side. But once you cross this bushes, you will have a wonderful view. Either you can take this shortcut route or you can 
come along the normal way which doesn't make a lot of difference so this is at the center point we are almost covered the 8 km trek half of the point is over here you can cross the river by hopping over the rocks the trail continues on both side through a field you need to follow the same path until you find a low land uh, the stretch of the river will be almost a kilometer you can cross this one and again start to climb so you have to find the lowest point to cross it the trail after this becomes narrower taking diversions at unexpected places though there is every possibility of getting confused always opt the route which appears tougher and lengthier never take shortcuts that after walking a trail of 1 km you will be coming across a bridge so you have to cross the bridge and after that you will reach a hill top so this is where the maflong forest usually starts from here on the trek will be uh more of uh green and it will be you you may not be passing along the streams so almost we have crossed most of the path and i think from here it is only some 2 3 kilometers left to the end path so we are obviously very tired so it's almost we started at 11:30 and now it should be around 3:30 and we have still 3 more kilometers left and it's going to be a climbing path of the hill throughout the trail we come across breathtaking mountain streams waterfalls meadows and forest groves and you can see the traditional khasi villages and the trek ends at larnaflong 